we're going to the town of Dana. Site of Dana Common, 1801 to 1838. Marseille. Very cool. Eagle House Hotel. All gone, and it never had to be. Well, we might as well bring them up to speed. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Uh, Dame and I are going for a hike. We are in Petersham, Massachusetts. Yep, Petersham. We're going to the town of Dana, which was flooded out in 1938, a good portion of it, to make way for the Quabbin Reservoir. And, you know, we live in New Hampshire and we come down here and just the immediate observations are all the no signs. What can't we do here? One of the things you can't do on this paved road in the winter time is uh, cross-country ski because it'll impact the local flora and or faunas. And the pavement. And the pavement. Yeah, no drinking, no guns, no fire, no camping, no ski mobiles, no ATV, uh, no bicycles, yeah. and surveillance cameras are in use. So I'm not going to bother reading the list of uh, restrictions and prohibiteds because it's longer than the U.S. Constitution. Right, and if you don't know about those pro prohibition mm. facts, it ain't your fault. That's right. All right, so we have a mile and a half hike to the Dana Common. Yes, I'm excited to see what we can see. Yeah, it's supposed to be a whole bunch of stuff still, you know, here from the abandoned town, and hopefully it's not prohibited to look at it and enjoy it. So far, pleasant walk. Oddly, both commented, walking on pavement is tough. Fatiguing. <laughs> and it's been flat. Yeah, right. We gotta get back in the woods. We, we got something coming up here. It Spies is. like us, Jack. Right. <laughs> the one that got stuck on the road to Dushan Bay. Yeah. Oh, it's a nice stove in there. Really? Wow, it's a nice little warming cabin. Oh, yeah. Is it, what is it for interrogation? One chair, another chair. They got some relics up there. What is this? There's text on that one. Yeah. Well, it's not like they're going to put that there in case somebody gets in a pinch. You know how some vast areas have survival right. shelters? Uh, we've been walking 12 minutes, I mean, on pavement. They must have had some sort of, you know, gate experience where you turn in your 25 cents for access. Right. But it was four season because that's a heck of a stove for a tiny little cabin. Barn? Hell of a barn. Oh, yeah. Very cool. But the house is right across the street. Bet you're right. What's that? Yeah, there's a threshold stone. Oh, yeah. That's a nice piece of stone. Oh, not as grand as the uh, barn. Now, we're not entirely sure as to when this area goes back to it. Probably could be 1600s. Dana split away from another town or towns in 1801 and became 1801. its own place. But this has all been abandoned since 1938. Actually, this will be interesting. I'm, I'm curious to see if there are obvious dig holes. Yeah, nobody should be digging out here. That is an odd size hole. It is. It really is. That is roughly 10 feet on either, on all walls. It is something, isn't it? That when you move around regionally, you see the differences, slight differences in the layouts of farms, the build 
of the all the walls the cellar holes and we don't generally go too far out of our own county but I've never seen a 10 foot by 10 foot square square I've seen a couple in northern Vermont that were very similar to this hmm. um, and no center chimney stack so it would have been off to the side It'd probably be right up here right well so far it's just a long paved road it is quite clean out here we're passing obviously the residuals of colonial home sites but it's just a long paved road well i'm seeing a marker down a little bit down the road there oh cool i think we're going to have a picture of one of the houses or at least one of the barns Burn me. Oh, it's a blacksmith shop. And that is a great name. Oh, no kidding. You have been mentioning that. 1839? Yeah, me. Marcel. I wonder if that's an inverted horseshoe there. Uh. Well, it was a blacksmith shop. Did you see the name on the plaque for the guy? Not this guy. No, I didn't. Roland Doubleday. Why does that sound familiar? I don't know. To me, it sounds like, well, how's things been going? You know it, man. Roland Doubleday. Roland Doubleday, man. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> well, we have still yet to reach wherever this is going to. And got to tell you, if it's a mile and a half, compared to what we are used to doing, this has been the longest mile and a half ever on the pavement straight shot compared to bushwhacking or even dead roads yeah walking on pavement is much different and when we're doing a mile and a half or two miles through the woods we're like run through the jungle style <laughs> dodging and weaving and there's a certain amount of game and right. and entertainment to it but you're constantly engaged yes this and is just treadmill stuff yeah but we've got to be getting Somewhere. Yeah. Uh, Rolling double day. I like that. So it looks like we're entering the old common now. So <laughs> we're real close. Not that it was a great distance, but it's just different for us. Well, it's 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 nice that it's protected. It looks like it's constantly maintained out here. And uh God, but what a shame. Think of the meeting house that was standing out here. Yep. Oh. Jeez. Concrete going right up to whatever was right there. Church. Church. Oh, the, down, the town hall. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to see that much. If you can see that at all. So that concrete walkway went up to the town hall. Full house, three floors, fancy. Oh yeah. Site of Dana Common, 1801 to 1838. To all those who sacrificed their homes and way of life, erected by Dana Reunion, 1996. You can hear the people just doing their thing. Walking down the street, going into sh the local shop. Blacksmith pounding away back there. Kids being too loud in the schoolyard. And to think if it wasn't paved or groomed, this would just all be forest with small roads and randomly scattered cellar holes. It, it really, you take away the pavement and let it grow back. It's undistinguishable out here. Oh yeah, look at that, the old sidewalk. Going right up to something. This one's unmarked. Jeez. What's outside the doorstep here? This sucks. <laughs> so what was standing right here was this massive hotel, Eagle House hotel and dame's like did they 
burn it down? Did they disassemble it? Yeah. Don't know, man. So we had the thought initially starting out that we would actually take a walk all the way down to the Quabbin where you know several towns have been completely flooded out but we made the realization we are only halfway there it's another mile and a half at least and the common is the highlight and we're just not digging walking on pavement as you can possibly imagine I think the common's the place to be anyway and you can really tell there was a town here. But what a shame. Think about that. We walked a mile and a half, halfway there. All of this, the people were made to leave, and it's still in a mile and a half before water. All the beautiful buildings, the cemeteries, the war memorial, all gone, and it never had to be. It's actually kind of a shame. We walk through here and it's kind of a bummer. It is, a, it is a downer. It's a little depressing. <laughs> but if you live anywhere near it, you might as well check it out. If you're looking for an easily accessible flat walk, definitely worth taking it in. I just had a thought as we were filming this. Now, 1938, so these people had no choice in the decision on what to do, where to go. And you're in the middle of the Great Depression. Ugh. So was it potentially a blessing if they you know because we don't know the full story did they get paid i imagine they would have been bought out at somewhere around market value so it might have been a blessing or not because if it just paid off their debtors and they had right. to go and start fresh but and we were looking around there's not even a service pole left standing Nothing, yeah. And they had electricity, they had telephone. There's just nothing but the map, the physical map of the town. The church is right here. Yeah. Standing on pavement to the church, big cellar hole. That's it. All right, well, we've got to head back down the paved road and find some woods to walk in. Head back to the woods. Glad we did it, but we're heading back into the Unknown. We'll see you all very soon. Until next time, enjoy your not Thursday. Please observe the note chart. These are all the things you cannot do. These little itty bitty ones you can do. And there it is. Metal detecting, metal detecting, metal detecting. Well, we figured that. Yeah, but geocaching surprised me. Where was it? Because geocaching caching is, is zero impact off reservation let's go places where we can do things all right